What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moodle WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to set a default or global featured image or thumbnail to go with our links on WordPress of any of our pages when we forget to add the featured image. So if you go to the visualmoodle.com blog and search for featured image, you're gonna find this amazing guide with this video where we do explain all about featured images and why they are important for your site. I recommend that you take a moment to read this post, but basically featured image is a nice way to engage the potential reader, for example, when you share your site link into a social media. The social media by default loads the article featured image, okay? And this is how important it is to have a featured image. Another example of featured image usage is on page index pages on, for example, inside your site right here on Visual Moodle. All the images that you are not seeing here on our blog are the blog posts featured images. OK, so this is how important it is. And there is other cases, for example, taxonomy pages. What are taxonomy pages? Taxonomy pages are pages like for example, the categories pages of your site, for example, the archives pages right here. Those pages does not use to have a featured image, so it's good to have one. And of course, there is cases where you do simply forget to add the featured image. And this is what exactly we're gonna learn on this video, okay? So before anything, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, share with a friend of yours or your family, because we bring daily videos for WordPress usage, SEO, marketing, sales, and many more topics to use the internet on your favor, because this is our mission. So let's go to the guide. First of all, WordPress does not have by default the option to set the default featured image. So we're going to be using a plugin. And this is a free plugin that everyone can download. It's present on WordPress.org, so we can install it simply for free. So go to our WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. Into right here at the top right corner at the search field, search plugins, search for the full featured image. Here is the first plugin. Thanks for this guy. Thanks, William. We're going to click on install now. After this, we're going to click on activate button. And our plugin is already active and working. We can review that on the plugin list. And right here, you can deactivate or move to settings. We're going to move to settings. At Sun, as you click on settings, you're going to be redirected to the plugin settings page, okay? The media page, okay? The media settings. However, there is other methods, okay? So if you scroll down on your page editor on the page WordPress dashboard, have a look at the left side of your screen and under settings, we're going to click right here on media. Okay. The only part on this page that is the default WordPress page that this plugin adds is this one, the full featured image. Okay. Simple as that. And you can select a default featured image by clicking onto this button. Let's imagine that for some reason we would like that this laptop gonna be our website featured image. Think more about it, just not, please do not choose the image without thinking a lot, okay? So please take a moment to think about what's gonna be your site featured image because you need to relate to your site. Maybe you may need to upload, so click on upload files and upload a custom image to be the featured one of your site because this, gonna, this image is gonna appear every time where you forget to apply other image, okay? So think twice. Let's imagine that we did choose this laptop one. So click on re right here to include the image. The image is there, the chains are made. We have the thumbnail, the medium and the large size. Nothing to change. Organize my uploads into month and year based on the folders, the full WordPress settings as well. We're gonna click on save change. And we are good to go. 
simple, fast, easy and effective. Of course, it will you may not have immediate uh, immediately effect on your settings because you may be loading cache, you may be using a Cloudflare CDN for example or some other CDN, you may be using a cache plugin. So clear up the cache, clear up the browser cache, take a moment to review but stay assured. If you share any link of your site without a feature the image properly set, the image that gonna be appearing now it's this one. Very, very simple and you can do that for free. If you want more tutorials, because tomorrow we're gonna let you know how to do this using Yoast SEO plugin, hit the subscribe button, like this video, if you have some comment to do, if you have some discussion to start, please use the comment section below, we're gonna be very happy and talk to you, okay? I'm gonna leave some links into the very first comment of this video for useful sources that I recommend that you take a moment to review, okay? The links direct you places where you can purchase a domain name for 99 cents and maybe sell in 10 years for $10,000. But this is a very useful place, for example, a place where you can upgrade your website hosting and save money while you do that, or a place where you can download design assets like images, designs, icons, Photoshop templates for free, and they update the design assets every single week. So you're gonna be able to download more and more and more without paying anything. So review those links. Also, I would like to ask you to follow us on social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We are at Visual Moro there, okay? And review our blog on visualmoto.com slash blog for more tutorials and in the case that you are in need of doing an amazing website based on WordPress for free without investing money on it, we have a free WordPress team and a free WordPress plugins that can do that for you. The team name is Enzo, you can download it just like we did download this plugin on wordpress.org, just go to themes and search for Enzo. And while doing this, go to plugins and search for Bordless WordPress plugin. That is our amazing plugin to empower your Elementor page editor. I'm gonna leave some links to on the visualmoto.com for places you can download this as well, okay? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com portfolio of our team. And I see you later. All the best.